Hi, love bugs. Forgive me, I look sweaty. I've been outside working in my yard. And I've been loving seeing all of my plants starting to bud and watching the birds fly around at my feeders. It's been so fun to watch. And it made me think about a fairy tale that we have not read together yet. It's called Thumbelina. Before I read this to you though, I wanted to review with you what fairy tales are and what they are not. Remember, fairy tales are not real. They're just make-believe stories. And there's usually some sort of magic or a spell involved and a prince and princess. Um, also, there are animals that act like humans. Like in Thumbelina, there are birds that make a hammock. I didn't see a single bird outside sewing together a hammock. No, I did not. Um, let's see, there's always a good person and a bad person. There's always a person making a green choice and a person making a red choice. See if you can figure out who it is in the story. And it usually starts once upon a time or a long, long time ago, and it always ends happily ever after. The good person always wins. The person making the green choices always comes out happy in the end. Let me flip you around here. So we can start Thumbelina. I love the pictures. The, the illustrations are so great. Thumbelina. Once there was a kind woman who lived all alone in the woods. She felt lucky to be surrounded by the beauty of nature. Her only wish was for a child to share her joy. One day, a kind old witch passed by. I know you want a child more than anything, said the witch. I can help you. The witch pulled a tiny bag out of her cloak. This is her cloak. It's this like cape that she's wearing. This magic bulb will make your wish come true, she said. The woman planted the bulb at once. Within moments, a beautiful flower popped out of the soil. When the woman sniffed the delicate blossom, the petals burst open. Sitting in the center of the flower was a beautiful little child. Why, you are no bigger than my thumb. I will call you Thumbelina. The woman knew she would love the little girl as her own. There she is, little Thumbelina. One day, a toad heard Thumbelina singing a sweet song. The toad decided that Thumbelina should marry her son. The toad stole Thumbelina and placed her on a lily pad in the middle of the stream. Stay here while I get my son, demanded the toad as she dove under the water. Oh, no, I don't want to be a toad's wife, wailed Thumbelina. As she cried, three fish swam by and took pity on Thumbelina. They nibbled at the stem of the lily pad until it broke free. Thumbelina sailed swiftly down the stream, and soon she reached the bank. She was tired from her adventure. A butterfly helped her weave blades of grass into a sturdy hammock. Another butterfly carried a leaf up to make a pillow for Thumbelina's pretty head. I was wrong. It wasn't a bird. It was a butterfly making the hammock. Thumbelina missed her mother very much. She could not find her way home. Soon the weather began to get cold. Thumbelina knew she had to find a warm place to live. Luckily, she met a friendly mouse who invited Thumbelina to stay. One day, Thumbelina and the mouse heard a strange noise. It was a sparrow who had hurt its wing and could not fly. They invited him inside. The sparrow was surprised to see such a tiny person. Are you a fairy? asked the sparrow. What is a fairy? asked Thumbelina. When my wing is better, I will show you, said the sparrow. That winter, while the mouse sewed and the sparrow rested, Thumbelina sang to pass the time. The mouse and the sparrow even made her a singing stage from a thimble the mouse had found outside of her home. See the thimble she's dancing on? When spring arrived, the sparrow's wing felt as good as new. He offered to take Thumbelina home to her mother. Thumbelina and the sparrow thanked the mouse for her kindness, and they flew away. Soon the sparrow landed in an enchanted grove. This isn't where I live, said Thumbelina, confused. Just then, a tiny boy stepped out from the petals of a big white flower. He was the prince of the fairies. 
The prince took one look at Thumbelina and knew he must have her for his bride. I will marry you, said Thumbelina, if you come and live in my mother's garden. I miss her so. The sparrow took the tiny prince and the princess to the woman's garden. The woman was thrilled to find not only her beloved daughter, but also a new little son-in-law. The sparrow visited every summer, and they all lived happily ever after. Oh, look at Thumbelina. What a sweet story. Could you figure out who the good person was and who the bad person was? I think the bad person was the toad, right? He tried, she tried to take Thumbelina down to marry her son, another toad, and she didn't want to marry a toad. But there were lots of good guys in this story. The three fish that helped her escape from the toad. And the, actually the beginning, the witch who had the magic seed to make the tulip grow, she was a good guy. And the mouse, oh man, that mouse really was sweet and helped helped Thumbelina and the sparrow. And then the sparrow was a good guy because he helped her fly home and to meet her, her prince husband. That's such a sweet story. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.